everyone, welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. So, we're playing as Kara again now. Um, and we just got stuck in the snow. <laughs> so, let's hope we can get out of there. I really hope so. Inspect car engine. Okay. Do we know a lot about car engines? <laughs> Smoke usually do. Good. I don't know. Continue on foot, I guess. It's 30 degrees. Alice won't make it. Yeah. We have to find somewhere to spend the night. Can I not repair the car? Can stay around here, Karen. Oh, can I? Oops, find shelter. <laughs> My bad, guys. <laughs> I did not notice we could do something. That was a very seamless transition between them talking and me having to do things. I don't see anything, though. Not this way. Maybe at this arrow, then. I see a house. Must be three options, right? Oh, it's not a house, it's a sign. Pirates Cove, amusement park, okay. Over there. They said it was 30 degrees, right? I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. Or in Celsius, I mean, it is in Fahrenheit. I don't know what that is in Celsius. We need to find shelter. Check up the buildings. Cold. Looks like it's been abandoned for a while. Sweet. One time we were going to be sleeping in like a horror house. Oh, that was not great. Okay, I guess let's continue. No place we could spend the night. Also, doesn't seem warm. Too windy, yeah, exactly. It doesn't seem warm at all. It doesn't say there's something here. I want to see if I can check it though, anyway. No, it's blocked up. Okay. Uh, that's someone, isn't it? First, I'm going to check this. Beware! Danger always comes when least expected. There's someone there. Let's go over there. It also seems like a cool soft spot. Who is this? Ugh. First let me examine this. <laughs> I'm not sure why we're examining this though. I don't know what the use of it is. You are here. I mean... That's what it tells us. Poor guy, completely frozen. Welcome to Pirate oh. Island, me hearties. 
You're gonna have a whale of a time. He's not doing well though. He's leaking Welcome good. Welcome to Pirate Island, me hearties. You're gonna have a whale of a time. Find shelter. Doesn't seem like it. Anything else here? Not really. This looks good though, if we can get inside. Might also be like a fake building, like loads of amusement park, I feel have those. It just looks like a building from the outside, but there's nothing actually in there. Just to make it feel more filled up, I guess. almost seems like a kid sized skeleton. I'm pretty sure it's not. <laughs> but it almost seemed like it. Tara! You should come have a look. I think I found something. Okay, let's wait then. So first I'm gonna see if there's anything else. Yeah, see, that's what I figured, that place. I'm not sure how far we can go without joining him. Yeah, not far. I wonder if we screwed up since Luther found it now instead of us. Okay, this is the furthest that we can go. It doesn't look like there's anything else. Okay, well let's go to Luther then. Let's enter. I'll handle this. Happy we have Luther. <laughs> Here we go. Seems like a great ally to have. I don't think we'll find anything better. Yeah, Let's settle in for the night. Pretty I'll get good. Get a fire going. Ooh, that would help a lot. Magazine, magazine. I see a magazine. <laughs> Check Luther's bag. Why would we do that? USS Iowa missing, American vessel last seen in the Arctic Sea, Canada, where the air is clean and the welcome is always warm. Discover the landscape, discover the world, discover Canada. Destroyer class submarine, the USS Iowa, has disappeared into polar waters. An inquiry is underway, but the President Warren has made no secret of her suspicion that the Russians are behind it. Russian aggression just reached a new level, America must respond. The Kremlin has yet to release a statement beyond the blanket denial of any involvement. The Russian diplomat uh, Nabokov pointed out that a U.S. destroyer-class submarine has no business being in the Arctic anyway. I'll make the fire here. That way we won't be smoked out. Security expert Ben Williams described the situation as a war waiting to start. Yeah, for sure there's a war going to break out, right? They're really hinting at it. Is President Warren too close to cyber life? Oh, Android Ben tip music prize. Tipped for music price. Fans scream, traditionalists weep. Cybersecurity experts warn your Android could be hacked. Here for you, the latest little Android boy band to be marketed by Detroit record label Digital Harmony is hotly tipped to scoop best new artists at the cele uh, Celebrate Music Awards. 
public letter jointly signed by a dwindling number of human-only record labels urged Digital Harmony to withdraw the ban from consideration at such award ceremonies, citing the erosion of artist, uh, artistic merit in music. With less than 5% of the music market now produced by human musicians, the call of traditionalists seemed to be falling on deaf ears. A spokesperson for the band said, Here for you is all about bringing joy and happiness to their fans. Music is all that matters to them. Hmm. Ooh, there's a lot. A lot, a lot. Maybe we should try to board some stuff up so that people can't look in if there's anyone trying to look in. Ah, this is also creepy. Don't like it at all. I mean, that's good for Ellis, but higher chance of being seen right now. I feel like there was more here though, right? Maybe we can only do that later. Yeah, I think we can only put that in the bed right now. Set up it. There we go. Please let me explore more. Alice? I just want to see these things. Then we'll talk to Alice. There was something here, wasn't there? Oh, here? Let's see. What's that? A poster? Pirate's Club. Oh, it's a picture of a family. So, we did that. We have. Three more spots left? Oh, that's the... Wait, can we take the flashlight? No, we can only read. We did that already. Check Luther's bag is next, so let's first talk to Ellis. There we go. Hmm. Poor Ellis. Do you think we'll be like them someday? I want to be Once optimistic. Once we cross the border, we can start over. I want to be optimistic. You can go to school. Maybe I'll find a job. We'll be like them. Like everyone else. As long as we're together. Exactly. That's all yeah. that matters. Get you to bed. Stuck rain. I hope she's warm enough. Doesn't seem that warm. Let's let's kiss. Sleep tight, Alice. We did that last tight. time. It could be a little tradition. Can you tell me a story, Kara? I have 9,000 children's stories in memory. <laughs> I should have one for you. About a knight? This is a story about a knight who... No, not a oh. story like that. Make one up for me. Oh. This is a story about a little girl alone who lived alone in a big old house she dreamed of being like all the other little girls but shadow i feel the shadow that lived within her kept her from oh, being not happy. within her not within her then she not hanging over, over. Lost. Who was just as lost as the little girl. So they decided to run away together. Live in peace. To find a place where they could be safe. They encountered great dangers along the way, but 
They were together. But they stuck together. So they overcame all of them. Along the way, they met. Guardian. Another robot. Who left his master to become their guardian. How does the story end? Happy end. They reach the place they dream of and live happily ever after. Stories always have happy endings. But real life isn't like that. I feel like it could be. It's all a matter of perspective. Time to sleep. I feel like it's what you focus on. We have another on. long day ahead of us tomorrow. Are you going to come say goodnight, Luther? Yes. Yes, of course. Good night, Alice. Sleep tight. Check it. I want to take it though. Now we talk to Luther, right? She's a sweet girl. Yes. She's very brave. Hmm. Let's talk about his Do you remember past. anything from your life before his lock -up? No. My model was designed to carry heavy loads. I might have been a longshoreman or a laborer. Who I was doesn't matter anymore. It wasn't really me. Do you know what you're going to do when you reach Canada? I haven't really thought about it. I've never been free before. Free? <laughs> I like the sound of it. But I don't know what it really means yet. Mm -hmm. Kara, have you ever really? noticed anything about Alice? No. What do you mean? Uh -oh. oh, RA9. There's RA9 on the wall. Wait, did I miss that? Protect Ellis. Grab gun. Put out fire. Grab stick. Protect Ellis. Question. Who are you? What do you want? Leave us alone! Don't be afraid. We don't want to hurt you. And why break in? Why break like everything? You. Our name is Jerry. We were working here before the park closed. We didn't mean to frighten you, but sometimes humans come to hurt us, so we wanted to see who was there. What are you doing here? We were looking for shelter for the night. We'll be gone tomorrow. A little girl. We haven't seen one for a long time. Children used to love to come and see us. She looks sad. The last few days have been difficult. We have something to show her. Something fun. She'll love it. Does she want to see? Oh, I don't think she's in. Oh, she should follow us then. She does. Alice, think I don't know if it's a good come idea. On, Cara. I don't think you have any choice. Yeah. Mr. RA9. Ow, it feels like I scanned everything. Let's very quickly go there. Take care of Elisa. Can I steal? Look at this. Can I? No. Okay, 
here. Okay. Oh, are you going to get this working? Be our guest. I'm on board. The carousel is about to begin. Oh, I love carousels, and then you can pick, you know, a really nice one. Sometimes they have beautiful ones in like the amusement parks I went to. Well, there was always a fight with the other kids. Like everyone wanted the most pretty ones, <laughs> so you had to be fast. <laughs> Unlock the smile on her face. We did a lot, but we also missed some stuff. Let's see. Let's see what we missed. Let's go back all the way to the beginning. Public opinion is still skeptical. Alice is trusted. Luther is neutral still. Okay. Talk to Luther. Yeah, what was the other option then? We did look at Alice, that was apparently also a thing. I wonder what the other option was, because I didn't see anything else. Car breaks down, we did all of that. Switch on Ivan, okay, look at map. Then, we missed something here. Yeah, here's probably the um, RA9 that we missed, and something else apparently. See gun, but we didn't take the gun. If we would have taken it, maybe Luther would have said something. I'm not sure. Protect Ella's. 2% grab the stick from the fire and 2% put out the fire. I wonder what that would have led to. We could have fired a warning shot, which we didn't. We could have threatened, which we didn't. We could have pushed away, which we didn't. We questioned, <laughs> which I feel like was definitely the right decision. Oh, that's great. That's really nice. The group enjoyed a quiet moment together. That makes me so happy, guys. That makes me really happy. I'm sad that we missed the RA9, though. That would have been good to have. I'm going to try my best with Connor and Hank, guys. I screwed up so much. We know about the Jazz, though. Maybe we could have done something about that in the previous episode. Debrief with Hank. I'm sitting in there. Maybe there's another journal here? Yeah, there is. <laughs> I don't think we're timed now, so we can just read this. That's good. Century. What happened to the man of the century? The mysterious Mr. Kamsky? Politics in focus. Are American senators really corrupt? China earthquake till kills 10,000 uh, 10, people. Yeah, we saw that. In 2028, Elijah Kamsky was our man of the century. His creations have transformed our world. Androids didn't just revolutionize the economy, they changed the way we live, restructured our family life, and altered the balance of society forever, whether for good or bad. Shortly after Kamsky had disappeared, uh, ousted as CEO of Cyberlife and living in obscurity outside the media glare, the man of the century has left the very world that he created. Kamsky's story began in 2018, when 
A commercial property in Detroit was cheap and attracting many startups. The college graduate bet was little, what little he had on developing an Android prototype and spent years to no avail, until hitting on two breakthroughs, Blue Blood and Biocomponents. After unveiling his first working model, which publicly passed face-to-face -face Turing tests and stunned the world, plans are laid for mass production and CyberLife rapidly became the most valuable stock in the world. Yet, at the peak of CyberLife's powers, when the company was approaching 500 billion? valuation? Rumors emerged that Kamsky disagreed with his shareholders over strategy. He later departed under mysterious circumstances, okay. Today, sources claim Kamsky is living in a luxurious villa by the water, somewhere on the outskirts of his beloved Detroit, refusing all visitors and spending his time exclusively with androids. And the most interesting question remains unanswered. What's in the mind of the mysterious Mr. Kamsky? wonder if he has something to do with RA9. Markets predict war. Stock exchange falls 10% on fear of Arctic conflict. President Warren at 33% approval. CyberLife world first trillion dollar company. Trillion dollar. The aggregated US stock exchange closed trading 10 points down yesterday, following a string of similar poor performances in recent weeks. Financial experts are attributing this poor performance to huge devaluations of consumer stocks as the market continues to bet that America will go to war over the Arctic sooner rather than later. I agree. <laughs> this assessment is supported by healthy performance of military stocks, with uh, aviation and weapon manufacturers enjoying unprecedented growth. Investors are also continuing to favor CyberLife because of its partnership with the Department of Defense to develop and supply military androids. With Russia and the United States continuing to dominate world news and neither side likely to back down, the market is expected to continue falling. Hmm. It all doesn't sound great, guys. I don't know if this is the future I would want. Anything else? I don't think the deep breathing is going to be anything good. I'm so sorry. I like nice view, huh? I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before? Before what? Hmm? You said... I used to come here a lot before. Before what? Before... Before nothing. Can I ask you a personal question, Lieutenant? Do all androids ask so many personal questions, or is it just you? Why are you so determined to kill yourself? Some things I just can't forget. Whatever I do, they're always there, eating away at me. I don't have the guts to pull the trigger, so I kill myself a little every day. That's probably difficult for you to understand, huh, Connor? Nothing very rational about it. I mean, I understand. We're not making any progress on this investigation. The Deviants have nothing in common. They're all different models, produced at different times, in different places. Well, there must be some link. What they have in common is this obsession with RA9. It's almost like some kind of myth. Something they invented that wasn't part of their original program. Androids believing in God. Hmm. Fuck, what's this world coming to? You seem preoccupied, Lieutenant. Is it something to do with what happened back at the Eden Club? I wish we had found that girl that killed that yeah, guy. Yeah, me too. I'm so sorry. Maybe she had a reason. Maybe she was just defending herself. I think she was. But I don't understand my options. Rational? It didn't want anything, Lieutenant. 
It was a deviant. That's all there is to it. What about you, Connor? Well, like all the options there are wrong. Do you look human? You sound human. But what are you really? Defensive? You know exactly what I am. In any case, I don't see how that's relevant to the investigation. Nothing else matters to you but your goddamn investigation, huh? No. Uh, no doubts. No mistakes. No weaknesses. Human being just like me. Only perfect. No. Understanding? Nothing matters more to me than this investigation. But I understand if you have a different point of view. Uh, what the... But are you afraid to die, Connor? Yes. I would certainly find it regrettable to be interrupted before I can finish this investigation. What'll happen if I pull this trigger? Hmm? Nothing? Oblivion? Android heaven? It's anger? Where does all your anger come from, Lieutenant? Some unresolved trauma in your past? You think you're so fucking smart. Stop making him angry Always now. one step ahead, huh? Tell me this, smart ass. How do I know you're not a deviant? I self-test regularly. I know what I am and what I am not. Path unlocked. Where are you going? He's still our Get friend. Get drunker. But I don't feel like any of this went I well. I need to think. If only we would have caught that girl. I feel like that would have helped a little. <sighs> He's still our friend. Hank left Connor alone. I don't feel like we did this well. Public opinion, skeptical, suffering, stability, still questions. Hank is a friend and man that's still trusted. Yeah, we missed something. Hank draws gun. We showed fear. That's, I guess, important. I guess two options would have led to this and two options would have led to the other option. I don't know what the other option would have been. I don't feel... I don't feel good about this. I feel like I didn't do well here. And I feel like things would have gone a lot better if I would have caught the girl. Which I feel so sad about. And also Hank was opening up. Why couldn't we go along with that more? I feel so sad that we couldn't go along with that more. Because... I know that the investigation is really important for Connor. But I know that other things are more important to him. I feel like Hank is more important to him than the investigation, for example. So why couldn't... Couldn't we have more options to do something with that? I I feel a bit sad, guys. <laughs> I feel a bit sad. But yeah, I hope you guys still enjoyed the episode. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.